Welcome to this video. In this example, you will build a vector fit model using data source and complete post-processing using the trade-off tool. Data source of interest is the internal energy of a radio simulation. Later, the fit model will be used to predict internal energy curve for any design variable combination. Training data for the fit model has already been prepared through a DOE approach. The first step is to build a vector model, so we're going to import our existing archive. This study contains a DOE approach with training data needed for building a fit model. Here, in Define Models, you can review design variables, responses, and data sources. Now we're going to add a fit existing data, and for definition from, we're going to select our DOE. We go to a specifications step. And we're going to activate internal energy mag and deactivate IE peak. Since this is a scalar response, IE peak is not needed as this tutorial focuses on vector fit. We're going to import training data uh, of DOE. We're going to click apply and then we're going to evaluate the task. Now let's go to post-processing step and let's go to trade-off tab and move the sliders to a combination of your choice. And as you can see, the plot shows the predicted curve. Last thing I want to mention is that there is also something new in the 2022.2 version and is that you can also create vector predictions to a sampling fit approach. Now, as you know, in fit existing data, we are creating these vector predictions and we provide the data from DOE. And in sampling fit, we can do the same vector predictions with collected data without the DOE data. So I'm going to create a sampling fit and come back when it's done because they are the same steps. A quick observation here is that sampling feed requires less data. This is not a standard, but in this case it's useful to notice how we only needed 9 evaluations against the 24 needed in the DOE. Another important thing is that we have reached 0.9 for R square in sampling feed against the 0.92 for the R square in the feed approach which tells us that in this case, sampling fit is more efficient since it needed less data to come up to almost the same precision. Finally, you can go to post-processing and trade-off tab to see the predictions plot. Thank you for watching this video.